Lewis and Clark Community College shut down for at least the rest of the week after a cybersecurity attack. Fox 2's Zara Barker is live at the college tonight with the latest update and how students are handling this. Zara? Mandy Elliott, Lewis and Clark Community College here in Godfrey, Illinois, has been a ghost town all afternoon. This cyber attack has put a stop to all classes and activities, and the college has asked students not to come to campus. Campus is very quiet. Lewis and Clark Community College in Godfrey is eerily empty on a Monday night, just weeks before finals. Like right now, it feels like quarantine again, and I don't like it. The reason? We all got a mass text message saying there was some cyber attack. The college told students last Tuesday a cybersecurity incident affected some IT systems. Now, almost a week later, students were supposed to come back Monday after Thanksgiving break, but campus will now stay closed the rest of the week. It's different very odd what's happening right now. Students still on campus tell me they can't log on to the school's website, their campus email or blackboard where they turn in assignments. Kind of just locked us out of everything. We can't really do anything. Students said many classmates just went back home, but Paula Bernal, a student from Spain, can't do that as easily. And we have a lot of homework to do this, like to turn in this week and we can't. Cause. So I don't know what's going to happen, but like a lot of people is getting anxious and like stressed. All activities and sports on campus are also canceled, including Bernal's basketball game. It's like you, you can do work, you can go to school, you can do sports, you cannot do anything. The school says there won't be any penalties for academic work that can't be done because the systems are down, but students say they're still concerned. Uh, it's kind of stressful, so I mean, we have two weeks of school and then finals. The school said in a statement, quote, since discovering this incident, our team has been in close contact with law enforcement and working constantly with data security experts to assess the situation, determine its scope and bring systems back online as quickly and safely as possible. At this time, the ongoing investigation has not yet determined if any specific information was affected. The school does have our method of payment, our social security numbers and basically everything about us. If And the school says it will continue to work and resolve this issue as quickly as possible. They say they'll also be posting updates on their social media pages. Live from Godfrey, Zara Barker, Fox 2 News.